what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Former Vice President Joe Biden is facing a new allegation of sexual assault from a woman named Tara Reid who says she's been trying to tell her story since 1993. Tara's allegation comes in the midst of Biden's surging presidential campaign and is consistent with stories other women have told of their discomfort with Biden touching on them. Tara was a staff assistant for Joe Biden in 1993 when she claimed he digitally raped her. She told part of a story in 2019 where she talked about how he inappropriately smelled her hair and kissed her on the top of the head. At the time, several other women came forward and talked about how creepy Joe touched them and made them feel uncomfortable. According to Tara, Joe Biden pinned her up against the wall and digitally penetrated her without her consent. She said it happened all at once. He had his hands on me and underneath my clothes. Where is me too? That is the $60,000 question. In fact, double that. That's the $120,000 question. Where is Me Too? The woman been looking for justice since 1993. I think he went back to like 1943 on Bill Cosby. So don't tell me nothing about no time's up. Oh, wait a minute. Where's time's up in all of this? Why are they so silent? Hmm, could it be that the public relations firm that works on behalf of Time's Up Legal Defense Fund, SKD Knickerbockers, whose managing director is Anita Dunn, is the top advisor for the Biden presidential campaign? I got it, boom! Can't y'all see it, family? Can't y'all see what's happening? These people are picking and choosing who they want to bring down. They don't care about women being sexually assaulted. We have here a presidential front runner who has been accused of multiple sexual assault allegations. Why is this story not plastered all over mainstream media? Democrats, could it be that you're playing favoritism? Oh, I need you to keep that same energy you had when Trump was accused. The same energy you had when Sessions was accused. The same energy you had when Justice Kavanaugh was accused. Republicans, don't get too excited because y'all don't care about victims of sexual assault either. If you did, you would not have had 55% of white women voting for Donald Trump before Donald Trump ever became president. There were over a half a dozen women who had accused him of sexual assault and he still got in. They still rolled for him and they're riding for him now. How does a woman in good conscience vote for Donald Trump and support Donald Trump, the likes of Donald Trump, a man who has been accused time and time and time and time again of sexually assaulting women? But yet, when certain dudes do it, there's an uproar. Women go crazy. These organizations go crazy. We got to get them. We got to get them. We got to get them but they don't do that for everybody. Why is that? How do you have a dude sitting in the Oval Office who at this point has been accused by over two dozen women of sexual assault? 
How does that happen? I don't believe you. You say you care about women's rights. You say you care about protecting women. I don't believe you. You know why? Because you're inconsistent. You can't pick and choose when you want to care about women's rights. You got to care about women's rights all the time. America don't care nothing. Not just Me Too and Time's Up and all. None of them, America, period, collectively don't care nothing about victims of rape, especially women. If they did, you would not have over 90% of rape kits gone untested in America. New hashtag. I stand with Tara Reid, yes, indeed, because I know Creepy Joe on the low did that for show. Therefore, he must go. <laughs> Boy, these Americans are something else, man. The hypocrisy is absolutely overwhelming every single day. You know what's ironic? The alleged sexual assault occurred in 1993. One year later, Joe Biden's 1994 crime bill came into law. Joe Biden called for dangerous predators to be snatched off the streets so that they would not rape his mother, his wife, his daughters. If he was really serious about that crime bill, Joe Biden would have volunteered himself to be among the first inmates. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?